many of you heard the countless songs, legends, romanticizing the steamboats of the Mississippi River. Well, now there is a new giant on the majestic waterway. It is called the American Queen. It is the largest paddle wheel steamboat ever built. The vessel is being christened today by none other than Priscilla Presley. And she is joining us live from Memphis. Uh, so nice to see you. So nice to have you on the show here. I, I suppose it's very fitting, right, for the American Queen to be christened by the former wife of the king of rock and roll. Tell us why this is special to you. Well, first of all, I'm the godmother to the American Queen. This is, like you just said earlier, it's one of the, the most elegant, largest uh, steamboat ever built. And Memphis is very, very proud that it's going to be docked here, uh, right in front of the famous Beale Street. And uh, you can see it in the background. And it is so elegant. And uh, it's like a floating hotel. Uh, so we're all very, very excited about this and uh, taking trips down the Mississippi River, sites we've never before seen. I talked to the tourist yesterday who just came back from a, a, a tour of about seven days, and they had the best time of their lives. So I'm even thinking about taking this tour myself. <laughs> <laughs> well, we certainly hope you take the tour. What do you like most about the American Queen? Well, I think the elegance that takes you back in time as you go down the Mississippi River, you learn all about the history, the heritage, the culture of life on the Mississippi River. Uh, you go into the towns, you get off the boat, you walk into the towns, you have a historian on the boat that tells you about the history, uh, the whole culture of, of our wonderful South Heartland that we've never really experienced. Most of us travel all over the world, all over the states, and here we have it right in our backyard. Um, a very relaxed, a very relaxed um, journey. It's, uh, you feel like you're back in the Victorian ages. They have even a, a Mark Twain in the library. Mm -hmm. I was in the boat yesterday and uh, looked very much like him. Tells you all about that history of, of Mark Twain and his works and his life. Uh, it's just, uh, it takes you to the heartland. And yes. it's such a history that we, we tend to forget. You know, you go to Vicksburg, which of course is the history of the Civil War. Sure. And I, I can't say enough about it. It's quite beautiful. People, people make, all the people that I talk to, I ask, did they enjoy the trip? They said they're coming back. It There's is nothing like this. It is quite stunning. It is so. quite beautiful. Uh, one of the nation's treasures, as you know, uh, Graceland, one of the most visited tourist destinations still in the world. What do you think the fact of your husband's legacy that it only continues to grow? It does continue to grow, and I think, you know, it's, it's just that, that we, we, he gave us so much. He gave us so much that, that we, 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 you know, from his music to, to his life, to movies, to his talent, that um, we're able to embellish and, and, and help that. And, and with new generations, I mean, people who come here, we have, I believe, uh, 10 million visitors that come here. Uh, in Memphis and it's it's been that has been the place they want to go see first and foremost um, there's so much about him that people are interested in do, what do you think if if your husband was alive today what do you think he'd be listening to what would he be listening to yeah what kind of music is what, what kind you... of artist do you think oh he'd be my listening gosh. to? you know Elvis had uh, an appreciation for all artists and and their talent he loved all music truly I mean from rhythm and blues to gospel to pop obviously rock and roll and believe it or not opera so I think you know his his taste was so varied that he would be he would be very appreciative I know Bruno Mars is, is great Lady Gaga is fascinating I mean she she um, she's pretty uh, and I think he would like her her she seems to be very um, moral driven and um, that meant a lot to him so I, I think it would be quite varied just like it was back in his day do you think he would be a fan of hip-hop or rap you suppose um gosh that's a good question uh, I, I think some I think in in some form pop absolutely I mean there's different kinds of, of rap and, and hip-hop I think there would be some that would be interesting what would you uh, what how do you spend your time now um, what share something with us we, we haven't seen you in a little bit well I send I spent a lot of my time some time here in Memphis some in New York some in LA uh, now that my daughter has moved to England I spent uh, I spend time there also so it's uh, usually um, out of a suitcase <laughs> <laughs> all right well Priscilla Presley it's so nice to have you on the show it's good to see you we wish you all the best and congratulations again thank you so much thank you
a bear going to college ends up flying through the air. We're going to show you the pictures next.